You know, you should never mistaken the glory you see without understanding the story behind it. Behind every glory, there is a story. And your story is changing in Jesus' name. I say your story is changing in Jesus' name. I understand that currently as I speak, you are in some particular level. It can be a level of influence, a level of ministry, a level of relationship. You are in a particular level. There is always a price to pay for the next level. Your presence here is by itself a price. I being a man of God and you are listening to me. I speak into your life. Receive your next level in Jesus name. I refuse to be natural when I can be supernatural. You have to refuse to be natural when you can be supernatural. You have the option. You have the option. You must refuse to be natural when there's room for you to be supernatural. Glory to Jesus. The issue we have at hand is not whether you will receive. The biggest question is whether you will keep. Receiving is an outcome of giving, but keeping is a question of discipline. Praise God. It is one thing to prophesy, it's another to be believed. Many of us are serious prophets. But nobody takes us serious. But after today, they will take you more serious than you have ever thought. May every prophecy you ever give have a meaning. Carry power and authority. May that happen to you in the name of Jesus. Let your report be trusted. And this hour as I stand, may you receive the grace that will speak on your behalf. That the grace will go ahead of you. That is the greatest gift you can ever have as a minister of the gospel. Everywhere we slept, everywhere we ate yesterday, we were not eating by paying. We were eating by my name. May your name stand in for you where money cannot stand in for. Let your name stand in for you where money cannot. Let your name open the gates in the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder, receive a quicker manifestation. not paid anybody I have not paid anything but the mission is moving and that's how I work I don't work because finances are available I work because I am available give God all the glory <laughs> Anania touched Paul. Two things happened. What was unwanted was removed. What was wanted was restored. Today something will be removed from your life in the name of Jesus. I say something will be removed from your life in the name of Jesus. And nothing is stopping you from seeing be removed in the name of Jesus. Anything. He says, Brother Paul, may you see again. And the Bible says, something like scales came 
out of his eye. Something will come out. I am sure of what I am saying. Something will come out. Because the scales were not wanted. The journey out of Paul never required the scales. It required eyesight. The journey ahead of you does not require any barrier. Does not require any stopper. Does not require any scale. It requires your vision. And your vision is coming to you this hour. 